welcome to Two Minutes of Truth about the Port Arthur Massacre. Episode 2, The Morgue Truck. It's widely accepted that on the 28th of April 1996, Martin Bryant woke up, decided to kill people, and drove to Port Arthur, where he did just that. The next morning, 35 people were dead, 25 wounded, and the nation was never the same. At the time, Tasmania was a quiet island with a very low crime rate. There had never been a major plane, boat or bus accident that resulted in mass casualties. However, just prior to the massacre, a custom-designed morgue truck was ordered by the Tasmanian government. It had a refrigerated body with 22 beds, and this truck was extremely useful when the Port Arthur massacre happened. In fact, it was almost too perfect. Also, Royal Hobart Hospital had recently completed a Code Brown plan for dealing with mass casualty events, and this was credited with saving lives as well. Timely that a mass casualty plan was prepared just before an unprecedented mass casualty event occurred. Now the cost of the truck would have been more effectively spent on mental health care or emergency housing for the homeless. Further, when it had proven how useful it was, the truck was disposed of some time after the massacre. It would have been more useful in the Townsville Black Hawk tragedy, several subsequent bus crashes, or the various deadly bushfires, since it was designed to fit inside transport aircraft to be flown all over the country. Why did the state government dispose of such a valuable asset? Who made the decisions? And were they made in accordance with purchasing and disposal regulations? The timing suggests that the vehicle was created in advance of and for the purpose of the Port Arthur Massacre. Alone, it could be a coincidence, but together with all the others, it creates suspicion. How many unanswered questions and coincidences does it take before we accept that there needs to be a formal investigation? There is reasonable doubt and zero DNA evidence that Martin Bryant was in the cafe. The victims and their families deserve closure, and we all need the truth.